I love you too. Bye. And she's off. My plans for today are to empty out the back of my truck because I'm gonna use that when I drive to Utah for the next, I leave the same day as Adrian and I'm going climbing for 10 days and I'm gonna sleep in my truck, but I haven't used it as a home for quite some time now. And there's just a bunch of random things back there, like skate skis and climbing gear just strewn about. So I'm gonna empty it out and organize it. I don't even know, I don't even know what is in here right now. This is my truck. Um, its name is Jolly Rancher, and I have lived in this truck on climbing trips frequently. I usually take it when I'm going somewhere for just like a week or 10 days versus like a month or whatever. A month I'll drive the van. So, it has a bed, and then it has these drawers. So I usually put like camping stuff on one side or climb and climbing stuff in here. Or sometimes if it's Adrian and I, it's like Adrian's drawer and Emily's drawer. I don't need any of this stuff. Oh, so disorganized. <laughs> Probably just like pack it and bring it all upstairs. Maybe not all of it. These are called hand jammies. They protect your hands when you crack climb. And I've never worn them. And I'm kind of excited too. I think I'm gonna wear them in the desert. I'll put them on like this. Some people say it's cheating though. Oh, these are really small actually. Logan, do you think I should wear these in Hand in jammies. Andy? Should I wear them? No. See, they're cheating. He says they're cheating. No, I mean, if you're doing something really cool, it's all right. <laughs> I've never worn them. What would Honnold do? I'll probably not wear them. Yeah. Oh, gross. I don't know. I know. They seem kind of sick. This is Terrence, Terrence the plane. He's older, I'd like to think of him as, as like a dad plane. He was born in 1973. And I usually just pull him out like, I don't know, five or 10 feet. This spring, I'm training for climbing El Capitan in a day in Yosemite. I want to climb the Golden Gate route in a single day. And so that's April, May. Uh, so once AB gets home in June, we're going to have one week together. And then he's leaving for K2. And I am actually going to go to Colorado for two weeks and go sport climbing, which at this place that I grew up, learning how to rock climb at, which is pretty exciting for me. And then I'm headed to Peru for a month to try to put up new routes on big walls down in the southern part of the country with some of my teammates from the North Face. And so basically we're gonna go down there and try to do a bunch of first descents on some big walls. Come on, AB, go get it, go get it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Really nice. Cat's yeah. proud of you. Harry's Fitness Emporium. One last sesh. It's time to go. Sick, Em. It kind of sucks. Em's a little sad. Cat's like, can we please just go? I can't. <laughs> mm.
That's an important one. That one's pretty important too. Maybe this one in here. What do you have up front? Oh, uh, my clothes and stuff because I didn't want to leave clothes in here because of cat. Food, you mean? Uh, yeah, food, sorry. And she's off, only an hour late. Very impressive. <laughs> Brush it. Take care of your mom, cat. Bye. And she's off. Man, it's always hard. This one especially. We just have by far the most fun when we're adventuring together. And anytime we can't adventure together, it kind of sucks. But we know we both need to. She can climb harder without me, with other partners. And I can walk up big hills a little bit faster without her. So, time to go on our own adventures. We'll be back together soon. Here we go. Feel it now every time I leave. It hits me hard and it cuts me deep. I'm a thousand miles from happiness 